All right, guys, welcome back to Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, the definitive edition. Today, we head to the big city. Today is the big day, the day that I've been waiting for personally, because things are about to get crazy. Now, also in this episode, episode six, by the way, I've been trying to do these videos as long as I possibly could, you know, with everything that I've got going on in my daily life. Um, but today, we're also going to be changing CJ swag a little bit. I think it's time for a wardrobe change and all that nonsense. And I'm also standing on top of my car because that's what real gangsters do. Exactly. So, yeah. I don't know. Okay. But anyways, here we go. We are now heading to the last and final mission of this location, if you will. Oh, God. Please, no. Please, no. It's a new car. Please, no. Ooh. See, that was just a trick shot or... Whatever you want to call that. <laughs> That's not really a trick shot. I wasn't shooting anything. It was, it was just a trick. Oh, God. Oh, man. Why is this car... Why is this car doing this to me right now? So, we're basically heading... I forgot this guy's name. I'm really bad with names. So, you know, over the years, you guys have known this. But we're heading over to the... To the... To the hippie... That we stole... The, uh, that tractor for in, in the farm and got shot at by a bunch of farmers and shit. It's like a massive pothead. He was smoking weed with uh, Ten Penny. Oh, that guy. Okay. We're going to head over to him and he's got a little surprise for us. So that's going to be fun. I have been, dude, I have been having so much fun with this, with this uh, Definitive Edition San Andreas and I can't wait to continue Vice City and of course GTA 3. I just don't want to get bombarded and do all of them at once because then it's, it's just if I feel if I feel if I feel if I feel bombarded I know you guys are gonna feel bombarded as well so I, want, I wanted to kind of introduce all of them and then kind of focus on one or two at the, at, at the same time and then whenever we finish one first we'll go to the next um, but I'm, I've been having a whole lot of fun with these uh, definitive edition Grand Theft Auto games and I'll be honest there are sections where I see flaws and I think that um, they could have been made better but again when i think about the originality that this game is or actually that makes no sense when i think about the original grand theft auto san andreas the original vice city when i played them when i was a kid they looked like hot dog shit. so i'm okay i'm okay truly i'm okay here we go are you going to san fierro San Fierro. Here we go. Peace. I've got everything you need, Lone Traveler. It's in the mothership. Back there. Thanks, man. Look, here go your paper. Ah, the karmic circle closes. All is as it should be. Back to the egg. Damn, man, there must be two tons of that stuff back there. Three... Rama... What the fuck's that noise? Hey, that sound like a chopper. Oh, man, narcs, you fucking rat. Dude, don't put that on me. You don't want to deal with Ten Penny. <laughs> What's all this? Calm, brother. Panic paves the way to bad karma. Man. We gotta torch those fields. I only hope Kaya can forgive us. I remember this. The pain in my ass. All right. This is so, uh. This is so, uh. What do you call this, um? Far Cry. I don't remember if. If this came out before. The Far Cry mission originally came out. Far Cry 3. I think that's where they first did it. Um. Or if it was after. I don't, I don't know who got the idea from who, but. Nonetheless, I love them. I love them both. They're fucking phenomenal. We just gotta burn a little bit, and then they'll they'll all just kind of burn themselves out. There's no need to burn everything all at once until it's done. It, it'll it'll just catch fire in itself. Cause I'm an island boy. I, I'm just kidding. Sorry. You know what? I know it's cringe, but I've I've heard that song today so many times. It's, it's stupidly addicting, and I know, I don't know what, what hip-hop has come to, but it is hilariously uh, addicting. Stupidly, hilariously addicting. So it's a really good, it's a feel-good song. 
some of you probably have no idea what the fuck I'm talking about. So we're just gonna keep on burning the weed here, man. Alright, you know how much money we're literally burning? This is like the equivalent to burning money right here. I, I don't know why we would do this. It's either you smoke it or you sell it. It's that simple. The formula is quite simple. Right-wing assholes. Oh, I don't feel so good. It's a classic. No, <laughs> well, they're basically I mean, smoking it right out. out. They're they're Bite sniffing the it. Ocean and you will drown, brother. Carl, man, we'll take the mothership and get our shit out of here. Oh, yeah, get look. Up. I'll finish burning. And I'll yeah, look at the screen shaking. <laughs> That's hilarious. Got this one here. Little small ones right there. Yes, sir. Uh, a lot of those are burnt. See, this one didn't burn for whatever reason. That's gone now. I can't believe the helicopter's not doing anything. Let's. I feel like some of the missions here, the cops are really slacking. I can't recall the original if they were or not. So. All right, so go and speak to the truth. Ah, was it? We got a chopper on our tail. We'll never shake them now. Hold on, I got a little something back here. I was saving for a rainy day. Holy motherfucker! Where'd you get that? Found it in a bale of tie sticks. Shame, really. We're gonna make it into a lamp. <laughs> Time, that shit killed me. 81 years too late. All right, so drive the mothership to the garage in San Fierro. Now remember, we've got the San Fierro garage. You, you better drive. I haven't driven in 15 years. You was doing all right? Yeah, then the fear hit me. Now I'm rolling a number to calm the waves. Shit, I better call Caesar. <laughs> Hey, Caesar, no time to talk, man. I'm on my way to San Fierro, okay? I'll meet you and Kendall at that garage I wanted to race. I'll let y'all later. So, yeah, basically, um, the garage that we're going to is our garage. We got we got hey, the slip for it. Hit on this? A little off the race that, that, that we won from our AP crazy ex-girlfriend. Put that thing out, man. I can't see. Brother, it's good shit. Put it out, motherfucker. I'm warning you. <laughs> Whoa, chill the fuck out. Firstly, you are a real buzz killer, amigo. And secondly, I never made love to my mother. She wouldn't. And thirdly, <laughs> we're in this together, so be cool. Sorry, man. I just don't drive when I'm fake. Oh, we're here, man. This was quick as heck. This was damn, this was we got here quick. Put all aluminum for you, man. Protection from mind control, dude. Mind control. <laughs> Induction of images, sound or emotion using microwave radiation. Do you know how many government satellites are watching any citizen at any moment? No. 23. Do you know how many religious relics are kept at the Pentagon? No, I don't. 23. You see a pattern emerging here, man? Man, I'm seeing patterns all over the place. Get that smoke off my face. All right, guys, we are officially at San there Fierro. There she is, brother. San Fierro, city of psychedelic lands. Man, I can't believe I ain't been here before. There ain't a better place to escape the man, man. Okay, Mr. San Fierro, where's the spot at? It's in Doherty, on the east side of Fierro, between Garcia and Easter Basin. Ah, uh, dude, I remember this? this. 1967. How you get around if you don't drop? I have an astral goat called Herbie. She's faster than most, but getting old. Yeah, whatever, man. You talking shit? <laughs> this is the place. Whoa, Jesus, dude. Looks like you've been fed a bummer. <sighs> All right, let's go, San Fierro. Now we're gonna save because I want this to I want this to be daytime. Or no part of this nighttime shit. Hey Caesar, what up? I got the lowdown on smoke yay. Where it is every Monday and Friday the cash leaves Los Santos for San Piero. Then every Wednesday and Saturday, a courier takes the yay back to Big Smoke. 
Okay, I keep an eye out for them. See if I can't spoil they little porty. All right, man. They little porty. They little porty. All right, so check this out, as promised. Um, actually, you know what? Let's let's start this off, and then we're gonna go to the we're gonna go get some new uh, swagger dagger. Where flowers in your hair. Motherfucker! That mute asshole! That fucking snake without a tongue! Gave me this shithole instead of a pink slip! I must be the biggest fucking idiot in the whole fucking world! Holmes, take it easy. At least we're alive. Girl, friend, fellow traveler, relax, man. You're really killing my fucking vibe here. Well, I'm sorry I'm fucking up your vibe, old man, but I can't wait to get my hands on that mute and your bitch-ass cousin. My cousin? You're gonna diss my familia? My bad, man. I'm just pissed for all of us. I mean, look, we in a strange place. We got shit to our name, and for once, I try to make something work this garage, and it ain't even a garage. Then make it into a garage. Oh. That's a great idea, sis. Won't you shut up? <laughs> you know what, Carl? You are a fucking idiot. Your whole life you wanted something for nothing. Now you've got something and you don't know what to do with it. We'll make it good enough. We'll help, right? We got your back, CJ. Come on, stop tripping, man. Both of you. Whoa, man, the energy here is fantastic. <laughs> oh. Yeah, uh, all right. But how am I find some good mechanics to work up in here, man? I know a few guys. Come with me, friend. They're good people, I swear it. Oh, man, I'm about to ride with this fool again. Come on, man. There's these two guys I know. Used to work on marine engines. Till the mob bought their business over in Vice. Now they try and make ends meet by taking any old job. They're a little bit dull by their habit. But the smoke don't get in the way of their skills with an engine. We'll pick up Jethro first. Last I heard, he was working at a garage over in East Basin. All right, so can I can I go to the shop even though we're here? Let me see. Hey, man, how you meet these dudes anyway? Let's see what happens. The pier, love it. We'll just go straight. We'll, we'll go after. You know how it is, man. Feel the tents, crazy ass music, a quart of mescaline vodka, polar bears. Polar bears? Yeah, go figure. Dude, the black guys, man, great sense of humor. Polar bears. This here's Vietnamese gang territory. Dang boys, shining razors, butterfly children. Watch yourself, dude. These cats are real serious. I'm gonna park backwards just in case. Hey, Jethro. Hop in, man. I've landed you a real job. Hey there, Truth Dude. Oh, man. Truth do, dude. do I owe you? Because I swear I paid for that weed, dude. No, man, we're good. I think. <laughs> Jethro, Carl. Carl, Jethro. What's up, man? Can we swing by the hospital? It's over in Santa Flora District. West of here. Yeah. You sick? No. The government is. But that's a long story. So, you know, like, what's the deal, dudes? I'm opening the garage and door to by the waste ground. You know, car miles, low riders, all that shit. Damn, you polar bear shit in the woods. Uh, no, but they've been known to shit in the liquor tent. Uh -huh. Remember it, right? Yeah, that was like, so far gone. All right, so. The hospital should... Okay, we're pretty close. I cannot wait to freaking get... Get some new clothes and a new haircut, dude. You have no idea. I'm dying for that shit. I'm sick and tired of... These blonde cornrows, like... Damn it. Oh, hold up. Sorry, I, I took the wrong turn for the worst. Sorry. Oh, shit. As long as there's no cops over, oh man, there they go. We've got a one star now, and it's gone. Perfect. What we here for anyway? Nothing. Oh, don't look. Cover your faces. Think about a yellow rubber duck. You tripping again? Shh. Okay, I've seen enough. <laughs> 
Let's go see if we can find Wayne. He's working a hot dog van at the tram terminal in Kings. Come on, dude, what's all that about? You don't want to know. Why? Do you know what a subdermal neurophone is? A what? Exactly. Sometimes it's best to stay in the dark. <laughs> I'm first person driving. Oh, shit. Watch out now. <laughs> Dog business. It's totally shit. Why? What's happening? Uh, my friend Carl here is opening a chop shop. Jethro's in. How about you? Uh, yeah, cool, man. Uh, I've got like some shit to take care of first, though. So uh, you tell me where you guys are gonna be at, and I'll meet you dudes there. The garage is on the waste grounds in Dory. I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Big ass hot dog. Okay, next stop, cop station downtown. What? You want your mom? Why? If I told you, the likelihood is you'd get a probe up your ass within a month. Like, listen to the man, dude. He's real serious about that shit. Well, uh, okay. But you're starting to freak me out with all that spaceship, man. Alrighty. He's one of those uh, heavy conspiracy theorist uh, potheads. But Jay, can you blame him? That stuff will do some shit to you, I'll tell you that much. Oh, God. Oh, no, no. Oh, no, God. Oh, I remember that helipad, bro. There's a mission that we have to do there. It is atrociously hard. Or at least it used to be. Okay, you know the drill. Don't look interested in anything. Picture a pink golf ball in your mind. Okay, we're good to go. Where to next, spacehead? There's an electronics guy I've had dealings with. Goes by the name of Zero. Zero. He could fix a supercomputer with a paperclip. He's got his own shop, but he's always ready to help fellow travelers along the path. Let's go introduce you to him. Look, what's going on, True? Look, what's going on, True? Who was him do? Don't go there. Listen to Jethro. Now, what if I told you we never went to the moon? JFK lives in Scotland with Janis Joplin. And the only reason we've been in the Cold War for the last 45 years was because snake-headed aliens run the oil business. I think you popped another micro dot. Good. Keep it that way. My boy is woke. The truth. That's why they call him the truth. <laughs> oh, it all makes sense now. Helicopter uh, remote control. Leave me uh, alone, Berkeley. This is stalking. Oh, hey, truth. Get in. I'll fill you in as we drive. Home, James. Oh, no. Carl, Dude, that shit was annoying. Zero, Carl. What's up? Carl here is opening a garage around the corner. I told him you're the man to speak to when it comes to electronics. <laughs> Actually, I'm the only man to speak to. <laughs> Grade A tip top genius. That's me. You should drop by the shop sometime. See some of my shit, bro. I'll do that. <laughs> See some of my shit, bro. <laughs> That's freaking awesome. Okay, be here. My car's all busted up. That's that's okay. A week of hard work, and we'll transform this place. Hey, Caesar, come over here. Oh man. What's up, B? Caesar, this Jethro, Dwayne, and Zero. Hey, man. Dude. Salutations, my sibling. Orale, let's get to work. Hey, hey, Carl, look. <laughs> I think I found a way for us to get paid. I ain't going to no college to study no account. No, idiot. Property. Decorating ain't exactly my thing either. No, property development. Look, you buy a dump like this, fix it up, and sell it. Or better yet, you turn the property into a business. The snowball gets bigger. I don't know, <laughs> sis. This all sound big time to me. Look, Carl, this place is going to get on its feet. And when it does, we are going to have money. If you want to make something of yourself, you got to let your money work for you. Look, 
I wouldn't even know where to start. Look, you two concentrate on the garage and let me work the property thing, okay? Yeah, that's my baby girl right there, Holmes. <laughs> hey, man, you chose her. I'm stuck with her. <laughs> All right. All right, so this is what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and get a car, which is something I've been wanting to do for a while. And um, go and change clothes because I just don't like what we're wearing right now. I'm already kind of bored of it. Get your hands off me. Oh, sorry, old man. You know, don't, don't take that personal. Oh, there's a cop right there. Holy smokes. Yikes. Well, thankfully, we actually have a... Uh, we have one of those uh, spay and... Uh, what is it? Pay and sprays? So we'll be all right. We're going to go get uh, change right up here. And then we're going to go to the barber shop that should be towards the left side. There we go. I'm not going to spend too much time on, on this because... Or at least I'm going to edit it out because typically I spend like half hour very indecisive. I spent about half hour trying to decide what the heck I'm actually going to wear. Yeah, what? Sorry, Carl. Are you busy? Zero? Nah, man. Good to hear from you. What's up? Disaster. My landlord is selling the shop. I'll have nowhere to live and no safe haven from Berkeley. Ah, uh, I'm looking to invest in some property at the moment. Maybe I'll swing by. Carl, how San Fierro? It's fucked up. I can honestly say I wish you was here. Great. Now you got the present for that friend of mine, right? You know, the one trying to get me and old Officer Pulaski into trouble? Yeah. Why don't you put that up in his car and give WeTip a call? Hey, motherfucker, the code of the streets is that I don't snitch. I don't give a fuck if it kills you, me, my brother. Street cats don't call no cops. Carl, he's a DA. Oh, yeah? Well, where I go find him? <laughs> he's at the Van Hotel in the financial. Oh, for sure. <laughs> All right, the DA is on the way. The Van Kauf Hotel in downtown San Fierro. Get over there. Oh, look at this car. Ooh, see you later, pal. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, there's a so cop what? right there. I'm just an absolute moron. Oh, shit. So what? It's just a whip, bro. The cop did absolutely nothing. Love it. Man, I love the cops here. And the car is great, too. Matching with the, with the swagger that we've got going on right now. Ow, I'm already busting up this car, dude. What's going on with it today? Perfect. The hotel operates a valet service. The deal will be dropping the car. Okay, so follow the valet to the underground car park and waste him. Make sure no one is around. What's going on? Why am I stopped? Make sure no one is around. Nice work, piglet. Oh, man. Man, I just freaking. That's all you got? I just, I just got new clothes. Not gonna change. This shit always happens to me. Oh, goodness gracious! <laughs> Go to the valet carport. Wait with the other. Okay. I would be taking this cheetah supercar. Watch where you're going. Walk the way, Chloe. Perfect. I'm gonna, I'm gonna park this car right here. Excelente. Ah, you must be the new boy. Get in line. The <laughs> new boy with a gun in his hand <laughs> and a rock. <laughs> Man. The DA is driving a blue marriage. Remember, you'll need to identify it correctly. Make sure none of the other valet services is. I couldn't even read that. Identify the uh, and enter the DS car when he arrives. 
I forgot the car already. Come on, time is money. Oh god. Was it this one? God, I forgot already. Sheesh. <clears throat> it's gotta be the next one. I'll just do a couple squats here. Break my buns. Yep. Working out them buns. Waiting for the next car. Totally, totally excited for this. <laughs> there he comes. It's gotta be him. No dings. Thank you, sir. All right, you're in the DA's car. Get over to the garage where the drugs will be planted. All right. Damn, I lost my clothes. I lost my car. I lost everything. Sheesh. Taking this. Oh, this is we're taking it to our spot. Here we go. This is a good property, man. There's a lot of traffic here too. Good business. Good business. The cranberry station. Alright, the drugs are planted. Take the car to the valet's car park. Oh my goodness gracious. Look at those thugs. <laughs> doing doing thug things. Oh my god. Thank god I'm not uh, part of that gang. Oh, we got two minutes to deliver this crap. I think we're gonna be okay. Just gotta keep it cool. Cool, calm, collective. Gonna burn out a little bit here. A little drift. Another little drift. So bad. All right, so park the car in the marked space. I haven't even crashed this car. I'm actually quite surprised. A valet is coming to return the DA's car. Get outside the valet car and uh, car park and call the cops. That is fucked up, Carl. Out there, look at the valet uh, workers. Those are my co-workers right there, bro. <laughs> What's up? You know, porn looks so haggard these days. Beat it, loser. <laughs> okay. Hello? This wee tip? I seen something highly suspicious you should come check out. Do you know who you're fucking with here? I'll have your badge, you moron. Shut up! You find anything back there? Found anything? He's got half of Mexico in here. Must be two tons of Mary here. What? But but I've never seen. How could it be? Hell of a defense you got there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All righty. Deconstruction. Oh, I remember this. This is a good one. The construction hey, site behind what us. Up, Carl? What the fuck is going on? Do I look like a hooker to you? What? Those assholes keep saying shit to me. Who said this to you? The construction workers up that hill. I'm a fuck them up. Nah, hold up. I got this. I need to go teach him a little respect. Huh? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I've been thinking about getting me some new land anyway. That's how we take land around here. We just kill people. It's. It's the code, bro. The code. Okay, so scare off the construction firm. This is actually not easy. This is a pain in the ass. Hopefully, uh, destroy all the portables and kill the foreman. Construction machinery will help destroy portables. Destroy all the portables. You'll need, uh, a bulldozer. Okay, so let's start. Are we going to give him some flowers? No, I don't think so. We have a suppressed. I got five bullets on this shit. 
I can do five bullets. Hold on. <laughs> oh no. Shit. Oh, you real con. Oh, oh motherfucker. Oh god. Break yourself, fool. <laughs> this man. We got this. You wanted some shit? <laughs> Come on, are you serious? What's all that damn platter? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so push the mobile toilet into the ditch. Then bury him under concrete. <laughs> That's fucking crazy. Alright, so uh, bury the foreman. And his toilets. Okay, so we're gonna get this. Alright, where's his... Where's his... Where's his toilet? Bro, what are you doing still here, man? I just killed, like, all your homies, fam. What's wrong with you? You actually don't want to let me take that cash. Ah, uh, you so kind. You so kind. Now, we're going to get this. Yo, this is actually insane. The fact that you get to bury this dude alive. This is some no, next no, level no. shit. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Alright, that's there goes that. Now we're gonna get into a cement truck. We'll get right up on this one. Just back it up. This is perfect positioning right here. Oh, it's on the other side, of course. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Brother, we just buried this dude alive. That sucks. That fucking sucks. Can you imagine? That's gonna be like the worst death ever. It's probably worse than like drowning. Like being buried alive. That's insane. Alright, so we've got now... I don't know what, what what's up with that... Uh, oh, that might be this other guy. Yeah, this... uh, The Asian dude. I forgot his name. W what is it? Woozy? Woozy? <laughs> Hold on, we got a phone call. Yeah, what? Yo, man, it's Jethro, dude. Hey, Jethro, what up? Well, I was talking to Caesar, and, uh, well, don't get me wrong, dude. I mean, you are one out there dude when it comes to driving, man. But Caesar, he told us how many cars you get through, dude. And me and Dwayne were like, whoa! What is your point, Jethro? No, no point, man, no point. Just that there's an advanced driving school, like, just up the road from the garage, man. Like in Doherty. Driving school? Man, exactly what you trying to say, man. Nothing, man, nothing. It was Dwayne's idea. I think you're, you know, cool and shit. Not I, I better go, CJ. I'll see you later. Hmm. Oh, yeah, this has got to be that. CJ. You got it? Hey, my cousin just called me. He gave me a tip about a baller's car going to San Piero to score yay. She, we gotta find out who's supplying those cats. Read your mind, Holmes. I picked them up at the Mulholland intersection, 
and I'm trailing them now. Okay, I'm coming to meet you. Better make it fast, Tom. These boys are hanging around. We go. Happy homes. What do you mean? Let's happen in your car. <laughs> what is he doing? Where we going? They were headed over Angel Pine Way. Follow the road and maybe we can pick them up. Let's right, so follow the road. Oh god. I'm gonna try and drive as best as I possibly can. I don't want to fuck this car up. All right, cool. So now we got the marker here. Whew. Let's see where this takes us. I know that there is a couple of, there's like a handful of missions in this game that are a little, uh, you know, a little annoying to, to do. Just don't know which ones they are in particular, but I do recall having a little bit of a stressful situation in some of the certain particular missions we've done. Get up on the roof. Sheesh. Would you mind moving along? All right, Caesar. Photograph the face of each target, but be quick about it. Make sure to zoom in. There it is, Holmes. Sherm head. This business is bigger than any gang, is it? Mm -hmm. Rider, little bitch. <laughs> this dude's walk, bro. <laughs> this guy take himself real serious. That's T Bone Mendez. What now? Is that it? Hey, who's the gringo? I don't like the look of that guy. This more than a few thugs pushing product. It's a serious organization. <laughs> it's the pimp. How many of these clowns are there? Ah, uh, I know a pimp when I see one. They being <laughs> clever about this. It ain't no exchange of nothing incriminating. That's wild, huh? To catch your homie like that? That's, that's gotta suck. That was some heavy shit. We better split up and get out of here. I'll meet you back at the garage, eh? Coolio, we got what we came for anyway. I <laughs> gotta drive all the way back. Why, bro? Why? And you leave it with this shitty ass. Alright, so use your camera to check San Fierro. Who knows what you might discover? <laughs> That's crazy, man. <laughs> what are you looking at exactly? Hey, God, bro. Jesus. hey man, you get them flicks developed. What's up, woozy? Hey, so, Carl. Woozy. <laughs> I was just explaining to your brother-in-law that we were friends. Oh, yeah? Well, look, Woozy, I need to get some info from you, man. Hmm. What exactly do you boys want to know? Who are these putas, Holmes? Why don't you go take a look? These guys? Yeah. They're the loco syndicate. They're pretty big time, I think. Don't have any dealings with them. We don't touch blow. Now, this guy runs things. I don't know his name. This guy is T-Bone Mendez. He's the muscle. And who's that guy? That's Jizzy B. He's the biggest pimp in town. <laughs> he helps set up the deals. You know, uh, concierge of sorts. Hey, did he my way in? How I get to him? Oh, Jizzy? Jizzy runs the Pleasure Domes Club in that old fortress under the Gant Bridge. Hmm. Hey, good looking out, Woozy. No problem. Don't be a stranger. All right. Did he my way in? Did he my way in? All right, so we've got <clears throat> got Jizzy right now. Got this brand new bike right here. You know what I'm, I'm okay with bikes. They're fast. They're pretty damn fast. <clears throat> so we're gonna go to the club, the, the pimps club, strip club. Oh shit! Be careful now, sucker. All right. I don't know why, but this bike seems extremely slow right now. It's like it, it, it's like it goes faster on 
on the wasteland or the, the, like the off road. I don't know. This is extremely slow. So we're gonna go all. Actually, hold on. Oh, we can get through here. We'll go straight up. It's all the way in the corner of the map. I remember that. One thing about this guy is he's hilarious. He is absolutely hilarious. And this is how we do shit right now. <laughs> Let's go. Another one. Here we go. <laughs> and that is why I love bikes. I'm just parking up like what a gangster. See, baby, I got everything. <laughs> mink sheets, mink coats, mink curtains in the wind. When I walk down the stairs, I'm walking down on mink car. Now, who's this trick? I don't need no more friends, baby. All they try to do is peel me from my hole. No, no, it ain't about them. It's all about you, player. I heard you was the man with the hookup, and you was the man I needed to see. Oh, my God. I'm offering my services. That's fucking Say hilarious. Say what? Yes, sir. See, I'm new in town. Anything you want, I can do. That's right. For a guy like me to work with, to work for a guy like Jizzy B, well, well, now that you mention it, I do have a slight problem. Something a little dumb muscle like yourself might be able to fix. Because you see me, <laughs> I'm intellectual. <clears throat> Bitches. Y'all walk on down to the bar and fix a pimp drink. <laughs> Bitches. The respect, bro. Mm. No respect. Mm. See, I only got two eyes, and in these streets, you got to have more than that. You got to be like a flying shit, you know? A hundred eyes everywhere. Man, that's now some hilarious. lunatic been fucking with my bitches. <laughs> my fucker killed two last week. I want you. <laughs> Go find out. My oh, bitches. No problem. You're my player partner now, Jizzy. Jizzy. This guy's a freaking fool, dude. Like, he is a he's a tool. Biggest tool, probably in the entire story. Wait up, Mr. C to the J. See that pretty young <laughs> thing in my car? Drop her off at the hotel downtown. Use my car phone and give me a ring a ding when you're done. My car and phone. And watch the rims, player. Treat that baby like the Pope Mobile. <laughs> watch the rims, player. Get in the pimp mobile. <laughs> All righty, here we go. She. Right here, huh? Boy, what a strong bitch, huh? Oh. <laughs> Ever had happen halfway thus to see like me? Yeah, go on. I'll do things your Ruka won't. I'm listening. Right. I'm no slut, but I need the feria. Uh-huh. Real interesting. Whatever, puto. <laughs> if you understand Spanish, it's, 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 I Don't promise you, it's worth it. I can't believe Rockstar got people to actually say that fucking dialogue. It's, it's gross and disgusting, and it's amazing. Going? All bunched into the same. Incredible. Oh shit, watch the rims, player. Now we're gonna bust her right here. Ooh, the pimp mobile. This is pretty sweet, though. I'm not even gonna lie. Pretty sweet ride. Later, it's a. Hey, Jizzy, it's Carl. I just dropped off your girl. Shut. Got a little errand for you to run before you deal with that problem I was just talking about. Some young buck <laughs> thinks he's a player been trying to peel my holes over in Hashbury. <laughs> now, one of my girls over there just eyeballed the punk. I want you to get your ass over there and ice that pretender. All right, so waste the pimp in Hashbury. A little nice little pimp drive-by. Uh, dr drive you got it. Shouldn't be too far. Oh no, that was bad. Oh god, no! I'm so sorry. Oh damn, we're getting by that hotel. I didn't even know. That must be like massive amounts of money. Of course! Oof. Oh, there's a cop there. I gotta behave. I gotta be on my best behavior. There's the pimp. There's the pimp. Hold up. I'm more of an advanced pet care technician. I'm let that cop ride. 
Here comes my player. Now you in real trouble. I was kidding you most of the time. Hey, it's CJ. Just to let you know, you don't have to worry about no competition in Hashbury. Worry? Did I say I was worried? No, I did not. Now to the real deal. Some of my girls in the Foster Valley been getting knuckled over. I want you to get your ass up there and nose around. Find out what's going on. I'm gonna have her back. Oh, boy, fool! Hey, I'm trying to earn a dollar! Uh, here we go. I'm gonna have to try and uh, make sure I don't I don't hit this car too much. It's the only one I got to do this mission. And we've got the hose life right there. I love how he just says ho like H O without the E. To not offend anyone, although we're you know, we're out here straight calling them bitches and <laughs> Alright. Hilarious. So was it in here? No. It's in the next stop. Uh... Oh, it's in the little alleyway by the Are you gonna move that thing? Right. Let's go. Come on, let's go. What are you doing? Oh, she doesn't get in. Okay. Jizzy, it's CJ. Use the bad luck charm, Flunky. That girl you dropped off downtown wants out of the game. Her sugar daddy wants to take off the streets. Nobody turns my hoes. You get your ass back to the hotel, and you make an example out of all of them. Oh my God. God damn it, Jizzy. You want cold, cold pimp pimping? The pimp mobile. It's on its last limbs, bro. About to go to shit. God, I wish it wasn't so banged up. It would have been a perfect thumbnail right there. Sure looks nice. Oh, God. Yikes. That was freaking smooth, man. Right, here we are. But I take out the sugar daddy. Fuck him. Nobody messes with Jizzy's hoes. <laughs> Jizzy's bitches. Sent me to save your threadbare soul, harlot. Get in the car and remove your filthy vestments so I may better gaze upon thy corruption. <laughs> Driver! Get us out of here before the devil's right hand snatches his poor girl from salvation. Right away, your evangelical holiness. They <laughs> got the preacher and his protection. I want the strip club. The devil comes to claim his own Godspeed, Driver! Godspeed! What the fuck? Which is more than just the Lord's benefaction! Oh my god. Don't worry, girl. The Lord's army will come to life. Oh my lord. That was quick. That dude just blew up like instantly. The thing is, what about the girl? She's probably gonna die. Now just keep on dressing. That's right. Put your hand there. <laughs> what a fucking sicko. Will you slow down, man? Oh my goodness. No way. No freaking way. Did I pop a tire or something? That dude was going fast as fuck. Any bullets? Here we go. This is our chance. Oh my! <laughs> no! <gasps> you went through the alleyway. Slimy little piece of crap. Oh God! He's gotta have like. Oh my goodness. 
He's got to have some sort of armor in that limo. There's just no way. <laughs> That's a lunatic. Look at this dude driving. Oh, they're fucked. <laughs> they're gone. Yeah, and so is, so is, unfortunately, so is the hoe. I'm so sorry. Everything's been taken care of, Mr. Jizzy. Oh, see, they used to play his right hand, baby. Oh, and by the way, that car's just come up over on the APB. <laughs> Dump it, keep it, whatever. Just keep it away from me, my hoes, and my club. Oh, for sure, you got that, man. <laughs> All right, so. Oh, so I, oh, shit, my bad. Oh, and I got a two-star now. That's just fantastic. So, all right, we've got another mission with Jizzy. We're gonna go ahead and do another mission uh, with this man. Now, just listen to me, okay? T Bone now, Mendez. Now, it's important that you listen to me. <laughs> I ain't no weak child, amigo. What you think? What, what, what you and Mike think? I'm just a pretty face to y'all. Is that y'all game? Stupid ass. Now, this here is the dumb muscle that I was talking about. Carl T Bone. And in reverse. Sup? Orale, listen. Don't mind him, uh, we go way back. Hey, Holmes, don't be such a beachy liability. Liability? Liability for what? Now there's three of us and I'm getting 20%. What type of math is that? That's fool's math, player. You and man. I sell my soul to you guys. And that's what it's gonna come down to, huh? Screwing me out of my 13%. You knew the deal. You agreed. Besides, we could have said 5%. And what would and, you do? And what, what, what? Cat got your tongue? You as bad at talking as you is at mathematics? Hmm. And you want to make this shit personal, I say? Hello? Yeah. What? Hmm. Man. Damn. I'm about to bust the hey, cap on about. this, oh, no, man. You don't. I invented that trick, baby. Call, <laughs> call with me. We're going to have to bust us a couple of melons up in here. I what do you mean that trick. We can't just go out there, T-Bone. It could be a DEA trap. Oh my god. Alright, so get to the ambush van. Oh, fuck. So I got these cops on my ass. Bro, just leave me alone. Seriously. Leave me the frick alone. I'm trying to lose these cops, but it's gonna be a pain in the butt. How far is this crap? I really need these uh these cops to, to leave me alone because if I get to this mission with the cops on me, that's gonna be a failure. I know it for sure. I'm trying to navigate my way out. Ooh, hold up. Leave that pimp mobile over there. Ain't nobody want that trash. There go the cops. Tell me. Sorry, buckos. Oh, God damn. Oh, my God. Woo. Oh, man. Bro, and they're fast as heck, too. Oh, goodness. Yep, I'm going to go up through here. I'm gonna lose them. I'm gonna lose them. I'm telling you, I'm gonna lose them. There they go. They're all the way back there. Oof. Oh, he sees me. Come on, dude. I think I, I, I'm, I'm about to crash. Before this cutscene happened, I was about to crash. Come oh, on. Chase down the bikers and collect all the packages. Oh, this is nice. This sounds fucking nice. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god. Package collected. Oh my god. 
freaking crap, these stupid cops, man. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> I took that guy's package. Got one more here. One more. He's actually right above me. How can I get up there? I'll, I'll, I'll take the stairs. <laughs> I don't know if this leads anywhere, but it sure does it. No, it does not. I still got the same amount of health. Oh, man, this is a disaster. What a disaster. I gotta go back the other way. Oh, dude, that dude is still chasing me. The final bike is heading to the runner who will collect the baggage before he reaches. <gasps> oh, no. Bro, I've been at this for... Ooh. No, no, motherfuck. Bro, this is so bad. Get out the freaking way, bro. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Now he's below me? Are you serious? Oh, goodness gracious. Let's go. There he is. Got him. Ha <laughs> Oh my god, clutch as heck, dude. I still got the low ass health too. This has been a pain in the butt. And I called it. I knew with the cops, this is gonna be really irritating. Thankfully I was able to find some of the stars to lower down the uh, wanted level to a one star and then I was able to clear that out easily. But that did not go without a fight. You're starting to feel hungry, of course I am. You not see what I'm doing? I'm doing everything for this stinking pimp. Shit, and for man. what? Huh? For what? For information, that's what. Uh, I cannot crash or get into any sort of, sort of crazy accident because I will die. With this health, I will die. And we actually freaking made it, bro. Amazing. <laughs> we made it, dude. I'm so freaking pumped for that. I thought I was going to fail that mission. I really did. I, I honestly really did. Sir. The cash is leaving Los Santos again. I'm going to have to let this one slide, man. Got too Not much right shit now, on fam. my plate. Not right now, fam. All right, guys. So we're going to call it quits here. We have to actually go somewhere and eat. Replenish our, 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 our you know, our health. We're getting skinnier and skinnier. Hey, what's up? Hey, Carl, it's Woozy. Hey, if you got some time, I'd like for you to come over so we can talk about something. Yeah, for sure. Where you at? I own a little betting shop in Chinatown. Just come around and uh, introduce yourself. My people will be expecting a visit. It's a plan, man. Later. So yeah, we're gonna go replenish all our all our goods. We'll be back with a vest, weapons, guns, armor, the whole works. Health, muscle, maybe, and uh, we'll continue the story here for Jizzy and his Kim's hoes, and whatever the hell you want to call. It. And then, of course, we got Woozy now too, and we still got Zero, which I'm, 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 I'm holding the Zero mission a little bit because that one's really hard. But uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, as always, drop it a like, and um, I'll try my best to keep bringing the daily GTA San Andreas videos. All right, guys, catch you later.